Hello and welcome to Down the Shed. So here we have another one of those cheap small Chinese kits that are banged out at a million an hour. Uh, I've checked the colour of the LEDs quick and they're blue so I can't even be asked to change them out I'm just going to leave them in. So I don't know if this is prepared for swamp help. Right that's not too bad for you actually. I'm using a watch again as the uh, monitor for the camera so I can keep you in shot so so here we have what I really don't know what it's going to be actually we haven't got any microphone we've got a variable I think this is just going to be like a double running light or something so we'll just populate the board and crack on from there so we may as well start with the LEDs as they're nearest us so we'll just pop all these in so the arrows facing to that direction I can't figure out which way it's going to be on the camera so the negative leg goes in the pointy end of the arrow which is cut off by a vertical line that's the negative or the cathode the long leg or the anode is positive this one don't want to go in it's quite tight no comments. You can double check once you've put like the last one in. All the legs are the same length, just to make sure you haven't inadvertently put one in backwards by mistake. So arrows pointing to the right, the points cut off by the vertical line, a short leg. And they all match. So we'll blue tack that down and bang those in and then I'll be back. Right, that's the first four soldered in and snipped. And this is the second four. I've put, already put those in. You don't really need to see LED placement. I would say just double check the board's um, schematics because sometimes you might find that one row goes in opposite way to another row and complacency can lead you to put in the odd row here and there in back the front. So it was snipped that lot. So that's the uh this was me back the front camera of the phone screen watch screen so that's the uh, eight LEDs in I nearly said six I think or out yeah that's the eight LEDs so that one's a bit high we could uh, sit you down a bit there we go that'll do nicely so let's get the rest of this board done now see if I can no, we're going to have to nip on, uh, nip on, that's a whole different brand, that'll do, oh my goodness, I can't even read that, I'm going to have to get this board right up close to, in the four times to read these, right, R7 is a 47k, R2 is 100k, so we want 47k, I could do this upside down actually, crikey, it's some really bad silk screening, so I'm going to pause you while I do the uh, component ID in. So, yellow, purple, red, gold is 47k. So we'll put those in. So this one over here is 47k. That's our R9. It's very blobby, this over, over printed. Probably why these are cheap. And R4. No R5 possibly. No it's R3. I'm guessing. It's hard. So it's 47k R3 I think. It's really is that badly printed. Make sure I do it the same way as the others. 
first blue tack down and wake it up the soldier yard. Roger and I was just coming back up to temp. The ball was caught up as well. Right, the brown, black, yellow, gold is uh, 98.33k, so that would be 100k. What was that? Yellow, black, sorry, brown, black, yellow, gold. So that's 100k. R6 looks like a hundred. Let's get a bit of blue tech on there. And what else we got? So we've got a brown black brown gold edit out last piece of video right the board is marked with a hundred K and just a hundred so I'm guessing our four brown black brown they are the hundreds that's brown black yellow Brown, black, brown. So, yeah. So, the hundred is brown, brown, black, brown. Our four. Then you've got the gold band one way around. So, our four, brown, black, brown, a hundred own. And our uh, six, I believe that is, 100 ohm, brown, black, brown. Which leaves the brown, black, yellow to be the 100k, not the 100 ohm. And our last resistor, sorry, temporal. Got to go and cook Mrs. T and go to work for four hours. Should be, let's have a look. Drum roll. I need to record a drum roll. 30k. On the board says 30k. Yep, so the bottom one of those is, and it's a blue one compared to the others. So we'll get all those uh, blue tack down, soldered in, and I'll come back and finish this little uh, jobby off in five and a half hours, or in about a second for you guys. In the second time, I'll be going, right, we've got this soldered, let's put in the variable resistor, but we won't. I'll be doing four hours of picking luxury kitchen items, kitchenware. For retail outlets, La Crusade, bloody expensive, bloody good quality though, lifetime guarantee, it's like snap-on, you buy it, 20 years later, your blooping daughter breaks it, she'll get a free replacement, a wake-up iron. Right, we're back from work. So as you can see, I've now placed the chip holder. Remember to get the notch on the chip holder, matching with the notch or the little goal post on the board. The 4007, I think that's a shot key diode is on the board. Again, the gray band on the diode matches with the band on the board. So we'll blue tack those down and solder them in. Solder them in, solder them in. Right, next I'm going to put in the electrolytic capacitor. This is a two 
22 uf 16 volt long leg and a short leg the short leg has the minus with the gray band on the side long leg is positive boards usually have positive marked on them sometimes they'll have a shady side which is the negative so long leg in the plus absolutely critical you get this component the right way around again the same with the next one we have a transistor this is a s8050 again it'll have like an octagonal half shape and a flat side board will usually have a half an octagon or a hexagon or whichever and a flat side so just match the shape of the component to the board and you don't get the collector and the emitter i think it is the wrong, wrong way around and since we're here we might as well put the a variable 20k resistor in so this is obviously going to adjust the flash rate for the lights whatever they're doing right so we stick the blue tack behind these two we can, that's pretty much going to hold itself in anyway we can um drop this power point on as well Then that's why that's the excellent Chinese postal system. Lob it in a plastic bag, it will protect fine. So that's that pretty much all blue tack down. Clean the iron, tin the iron, iron's waking up, 320, 40, 65, which is actually 345 degrees because it's about 20 degrees out. I can't get it to calibrate any closer. got any big clove on tonight because I'm in the middle of watching some Red Dwarf first three million years documentary and I can't play it while I'm soldering because of copyright and I only need another 994 subscribers and 3984 hours view time before I can get monetized even though I've been YouTubing for 13 odd years on and off haven't been doing it seriously until i started this channel so that's all the soldering done So we can turn the iron off we snip these with our new fake american snips i love the packaging made in america and on the packet they actually arrived in it says made in china you just can't beat that irony can you is it irony that could go in a bit deeper she said We've still got enough heat in it. How hot. Probably easier to turn it back on quickly. Just get more heat in it. Right, this is going to be mucky, so I might have to get my blob out of the cupboard to uh, remove this. See how it sticks to itself. Brilliant.
See that? Just blob the board and all the blue tack will come away like magic. So all we need to do now, where's that flipping camera? There we are. So all we need to do now is pop the chip in, connect some power. So I'll just pause you a sec. Right, I'm just going to pop this chip in. So notch on the chip matches the notches on the board and the chip holder. I've bent the pins in with my fingers slowly. I've just fired it up quickly off camera and I flip in like it doesn't work. And then I realise I haven't put the chip in. The amount of times I think a kit isn't working and I haven't put the chip in. So I'll power this up on camera. So let's see what we've got here. Just check we got our wires right. Yeah. So let's try and get this on camera when I plug it in. And nothing. So we're getting nothing. So we'll do a quick voltage check over here. So we're getting Two point five six seven. Basically, I'm getting two point five nine, two point six volts over here. There's a uh, no suggestion as to what voltage it needs to run, so I'm going to guess. We need to increase the voltage so i'm thinking we need to go up to five volts so bear with okay it's upside down but i've got charge in this power bank i've just char uh, blah, soldered a usb lead onto the terminals so i'll plug this power bank in when i figure out how a usb plug works we'll switch it on still we have nothing so this is slightly disappointing everything's soldered incorrectly there are no bridges Well, that's, I'm going to put that down to parts because there's absolutely no reason why this shouldn't be working now. It's got a five volt source. It's got five volts going into it. The plus is this one, which is plus there. Right, well, let's try 9 volts. We'll just get this off, put a 9 volts. 
Right, so I'm basically running off a 9 volt battery at the moment. I've uh, the two LEDs that haven't shown up to the party was one of the ones I twisted around to see what would happen. It made the other one flash once. And then I realised the other one was the wrong way round. So I might try changing them. If I do change them and they work, and I'm going to put different colours in just for shits and giggles. I'll finish this video off with that. And if it doesn't make any difference, then this will be the end of the video. So like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll either see you with an update or I'll see you in the next one. Right, so we've um, changed those two blues out for a couple of greens, and they're actually taken over the brightness level of the two blues next to it. But as you can see, we've actually got this circuit working. If you do adjust the variable resistor, it just makes the flash pan a bit quicker. Doesn't really do anything. Oh, there you go. You can sit, just bang it off. See it flash a bit quicker now. We put it back. We go back to that slow flash. So that's it, really. That's all it does. It's just a bit of a practice kit. Again, a bit of fun. It's another video. It's another circuit board. And it's another one on the shelf of success, which is fast run out of room already. So don't forget, like, subscribe. See you in the next one.